The first education project commenced at the Pedum in the early 1990s. A free daycare school to help low-income local workers have a safe place to leave their children while they worked. Sri Narayani Vidyalaya provides education to local children with English as the language of instruction. This gives the children a huge advantage as all tertiary education in India is in English. While the school primarily serves children from underprivileged backgrounds, the education they receive is outstanding. In addition to their core studies, they are exposed to many activities. Although 70% of the children are first in their families to learn to read and write, the success of the educational program is evident by the fact that almost every student goes on to further education after graduation. Vidya Netram's mission is to lend a helping hand so that students from local, rural communities can further their education. Amma's first healthcare service began with a mobile clinic where doctors travelled to villages consulting patients for free. The high demand for healthcare facilities led to establishing the Sri Naraini Hospital and Research Centre in 2005. What started as a general 100-bed hospital has today expanded into a multi-specialty 300-bed hospital, offering specialised services for the rural population. For those who don't have the means, the hospital offers free treatments. These programs began in the late 1990s with donations of basic equipment to differently abled children and adults. The Gift of Life program provided free heart surgeries for over 300 children each year in conjunction with hospitals in the states of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. As there is a blood shortage in hospitals, blood donation camps are frequently organised throughout India. In 2006, Sri Naraini College of Nursing was established, an educational platform for women from low economic backgrounds to study nursing. Every graduate is employed, providing these young women and their families with a livelihood. Sri Naraini Paramedics College and Sri Shakti Amma Institute of Allied Health Science hold diploma courses to learn technical skills to work in hospitals. Lalita. 
Amma continues to open health care centres in the surrounding areas and organise weekly outreach camps with general screening and consultations free of charge for the rural people. Amma's vision of affordable health care for people in need becomes more of a reality with each passing day. The Kailasha Hills were Amma's first large-scale tree planting project. Every year, 500,000 saplings are donated to local schools and other organizations. At the Zero Waste Management Program, waste from the Sri Narayani Pedam campus and Sri Puram is collected and sorted by hand. Every piece of rubbish finds its place. Non-biodegradable items are separated and recycled. Biodegradable items are mixed with cow dung and cow urine and under the heat of the sun made into compost. which is turned into vermicompost. Six months later, the worm castings are filtered, making this into black gold. A fine compost to nourish plants, which is then packed and sold. created the Green Shakti Club. Which educates school children about the importance of taking care of the environment. Marriages in the Hindu system can be a very expensive affair, especially for the bride's family. Amma provides traditional wedding ceremonies bearing the entire cost, helping the married couple start in their new life. What began as a program to assist families of life-term prisoners has expanded into a program to support unskilled and illiterate women in distress, along with supporting their families, raising them out of extreme hardship and reintegrating them back into society through employment and training programs. This program empowers women from difficult circumstances with employment opportunities, self-esteem and self-confidence. 
Most of these women are the sole breadwinners of their family. Amma began Naraini Seva in 1999, providing free meals to visitors. Each day at Sri Annapurni Mandapam, a free South Indian meal is served on a banana leaf to every visitor as they leave Sri Puram, assuring nourishment for both the physical body and the soul.